is, what is it? What does it look like? Something for getting stones out of horses' hooves. It's a nutcracker. We thought you'd like it. Good. To crack your nuts. You're not encouraging this. She hasn't agreed to anything yet. Ugh, Mama, talk to her. Talk to all of them. Say something sensible. Yes, let's hear how a woman's place is in the home. I do think a woman's place is eventually in the home, but I see no harm in her having some fun before she gets there. Oh, Granny, thank you. Have you changed your pills? She was denied entry. What? Is this true? Of course not. Right, here's what we'll do. We'll go up now and speak to your valet. He can take everything you need to my house this evening. Father, this is all unnecessary and unpleasant. Might I suggest that we... No! I've let you steer us long enough. In future, I'll look after your father. But surely it would be better no. for us. Larry, as my son, I love you. But I've tried and failed to like you. Will you please leave me to get on with what remains of my life? But this is your home. Not anymore. Take it. And may you have joy of it. And furthermore, I intend to marry him as soon as it can be arranged. This is ridiculous. Father, that's such good news, if you really are hungry. Well, I'm, I'm not ravenous. But I, I wouldn't mind a piece of toast. I'll ask straight away. Well, can't you ring? No, really. Dr Clarkson, when you go, would you please take that mad woman with you? That mad woman has refused to leave your side for the last two days and two nights. And she has not slept nor eaten since you were taken ill. But there were, there were nurses here. No, I remember a nurse wiping my brow. She was that nurse, Lady Grantham. What about Cora and Mary? They offered, but Mrs Crawley felt that she had more knowledge than they. Is that his ring of truth? I've asked them to bring up some toast and tea. Now that Lady Grantham's a little better, it's time you had a break. I might go home and have a bath. Shall I come back later? We, oh, yeah. yes, dear, that would be very kind. And this is Mrs Crawley. I met Miss Bunting at the political meeting you sent me to. Oh. In Ripon. Ah, so that was the reason. Why do you say that? He wasn't exactly enthralled to the cause of the Liberals, though I'm not now convinced by his socialism. Why not? I didn't know then that you were the land agent and son-in-law of our local milord. I'm surprised I'm so famous. <laughs> Won't you defend your principles? No, not now. Then I will. Mr Branson is a keen political thinker. He proves this by not being afraid to question his own beliefs. Very eloquent. It seems a pity not to take the chance to end a quarrel. Isn't it better than to let things fester? I don't mean to speak out of turn, Mrs Crawley, but you will, I think, accept that any difference between Mr Grigg and me is my concern. Of course it is. I don't want my own son to die either, but this is a war and we must be in it together. High and low, rich and poor. There can be no special cases because every man at the front is a special case to someone. Mrs Crawley is right. Well, aren't we the lucky ones? I think it's gin. Oh, so it is. I'd forgotten what a good game this is. Yes, I'd forgotten. How long does it go on for? Oh, ages. Oh, goody, goody. 